Dale S. Jr. Uh, with your morning inspiration. Uh, I'm just here to let you know that God is love uh, and love is God. Today, I'm talking about speaking uh, the truth in love. Uh, speaking the truth in love. I'm reading from uh, Ephesians 4, uh, 15. Uh, it says, but speaking the truth in love uh, may grow up into uh, him in all things, uh, which is uh, the head, even Christ. Okay, so the topic I want to talk about is speaking the truth in love. Now, what I'm about to tell you is me uh, speaking the truth in love. You know, uh, every day, you know, I get a number of phone calls, emails, text messages, you know, for a variety of different things. And, and I just continue uh, to sow right into people's life, you know. So I want to speak the truth in love. Now, all the people that I talk to or text or ask for things or whatever, uh, you know, it's few uh, that reciprocate uh, the things that they ask, you know. So it, it could kind of put a person in a state like, man, hey, am I being used or hey, Am I being abused or hey, you know, this or that? But what what I want to do is is I want to challenge you all who feel that that maybe you don't uh reciprocate uh what what God would like you to reciprocate, you know, which is uh to be a Christian or be Christ like to be giving or uh, to be selfless. You know, the Bible also talks about in the end time, uh men will become lovers of themselves. So uh you know, a lot of these people are selfish. You know, what can they get? What information can they obtain? What can they do uh, to better them? You know, I can't say they care about me, but I don't know. I'm just kind of throwing it out there. But but what I will say, speaking the truth in love, I got love for everybody. I got love for them. I just trust God uh, that, you know, he would uh, just lead my path. He say, if I acknowledge him, uh, you know that he would direct my path and the same for you if you acknowledge God he would direct your path so uh, as I'm speaking the truth and love uh, as we do our day to day won't you appreciate somebody today you know uh, won't you be appreciative today won't you be thankful today you know uh, think about what others have done and sacrificed uh, for you throughout your life I mean, Kyle, man, say I appreciate you. If it's an uncle or aunt, a friend, a cousin, somebody say, man, I appreciate what you done for me. You didn't even have to do it, you know? And I'm gonna give y'all this last uh, uh, quote that my grandma said. Uh, my grandma said to me, she said, uh, Junior, uh, don't expect nobody to do nothing for you, right? So uh, what I added to that, you know, I say, yeah, that sounds good, grandma, but, I added, I never told her, but I added this to it. But if somebody do something for me, I consider that a blessing. So uh, why don't we just consider it a blessing if somebody do something for you, uh, you know, and have the enough uh, respect, if that was the word, enough gratitude uh, to uh, reciprocate that. Say, hey, I appreciate that. You didn't have to do it, but you did it. So you know what? Maybe maybe I'm gonna buy you a uh, lunch today. You know, maybe I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something special for you. You know, or uh, uh, whatever the case may be. Uh, I'm Dale S. Jr. Uh, with I Am Reunion, and this your morning inspiration. Uh, I'm just letting you know that God is love, and love is God.